How's it going everybody? Jared here and we've got another video for you guys today. Uh, it is how to load Team Win Recovery Project 2.2.2.1 onto your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. So just a disclaimer, this is not for any US or Canadian Samsung Galaxy S3 variants other than the international i9300. If you ask if this is going to work on any other device other than the international i9300, I will not respond in the comments. I will not help you if you brick to your device. You've been warned. Uh, so anyways, Team Win Recovery Project has actually been available for a couple of the other um, American variants. And uh, finally, somebody decided to port it over for the i9300. Um, now, there's two ways of installing this. One is the manual way and the other is the automatic way. Now, for those of you out there that want Team Win Recovery Project for your um, North American, American or Canadian variants, uh, there's a really simple way to do this. And from what I understand, um, it is included in the Goo Manager line up here so um, first and foremost we're gonna show you how to do this if you do have a North American variant so this part of the video don't worry for all of your Samsung Galaxy S3s this is uh, one way of doing it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump into Goo Manager now if you don't know what Goo Manager is it's an awesome application I'm not gonna go into what exactly it is but head on over to the Play Store type in Goo Manager and download it um, once you've done that, what you can do, now this isn't for the i9300, okay, They're, um, uh, this is actually going to be ported or uh, added to the Goo Manager um, database very, 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 very soon, okay, so if you have an i9300 Galaxy S3, you're going to have to wait for the manual uh, method of installation, um, which is going to happen really, really soon here in the video, but for everybody else, if this uh, recovery project is available for your specific device, this is how you're going to be able to find out. So you've downloaded Goo Manager, go ahead and hit your menu button, and you're going to want to click on Install Open Recovery Script. Now this is going to flash over your Clockwork Mod Manager, okay? Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, not Manager, I'm sorry, but Clockwork Mod Recovery. And this is, in my opinion, a much more advanced recovery. Um, it's way better than CWM, in my opinion. Everybody else has their own preferences. Um, I prefer TWRP, and uh, there's great reasons behind that. So anyways, uh, you're going to uh, install Open Recovery Script. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you would like to do this? This will download and write a recovery image to your device. That means it will copy over and replace Clockwork Mod Recovery. You're going to click yes. Now, the problem with the i9300, my device, is that, as you can see here, no recoveries are found on your device. And uh, that's because the it actually hasn't been ported or added to the Goo Manager database for my specific version. Uh, for all the other versions, i747, Sprints, AT&T, things like that, um, I believe you should be able to find something in there for you and what would happen next is you would just click yes install it would go ahead and it would flash the whole thing for you and next thing you know you'd end up having and, and the lovely thing about goo managers is it's all automated so you don't need to do anything once you hit download it's gonna do everything for you it'll install everything uh, so anyways, so that is for um, any other version other than the i9300. If you're checking this video out, say for instance a month or two from the date of this video being posted, you, that, that method could potentially work and by now um, TWRP for the i9300 may have been added to the database. Uh, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it manually. Um, now I'll be posting a link in the description below to download the file, okay, to make it nice and easy for you guys And all you need to do is push it to your internal SD card, okay? Remember internal SD card. All right, anyways, so what you're gonna want to do Let's say for instance, you've got a custom ROM um, Either way find your way into your recovery. So I'm in here. I'm in AOKP. I'm gonna go ahead and select recovery We're gonna reboot into recovery. This should just take a moment We'll wait for this to do its thing. Might even pause the video. All right, so now we're in our recovery. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go down to uh, install zip from SD card, choose zip from internal SD card, and then we're gonna go ahead and locate the TWRP file, which is right here, as you can see. And if you can't see, this is what it's gonna look like in your on your display here. So I'll just go up from here. TWRP-SGS3.zip, okay? So we'll go ahead and select flash that. And yes, I want to flash it. So that'll take just a moment, nice and quick. All right. And then uh, I think what I should be able to do is uh, go to advanced and then just reboot recovery. 
and that should bring up TWRP. It may not, I may just have to completely reboot the device. Oh, there it is, rebooted, and we've got team win. Awesome, right? So let's go ahead and take a little look at why this is so awesome. As you can see here, it's a full touch screen uh, UI, okay? So I uh, go ahead and into install. Um, you can choose between use external or use internal. If I wanted to use external, click on use external. It brings up all the files in my external SD card. Um, and we'll go ahead and click back to use internal. And as you can see here, it's got a bunch of awesome stuff in here and uh, we can go from there we can head on over to wipe you can wipe cache Dalvik, do a factor reset wipe the system external storage or internal even format the data as you can see we've also got some buttons down here at the bottom if you wanted to you can also check the log of what's going on by clicking that button there uh, of course you can hit backup and choose what you would like to back up and uh, we can of course hit restore and your list of restores will be in there. Uh, keep in mind if you are, uh, of course you're gonna be coming from Clockwork Mod Recovery if you're gonna be installing this for the first time. Um, your recoveries from Clockwork Mod will not show up. So unfortunately you can't convert them or anything like that from what I've been able to find. Um, so you will have to start using your old recovery or start creating new recoveries, I'm sorry. And uh, if you do wanna use your old recoveries, well you're kinda shit out of luck there. Um, you will have to flash back to Clockwork Mod and kind of start creating your own um, recoveries all over again with TWRP. Uh, moving on from there, you've, of course, what I really like is this mount option here. So you can choose to mount uh, internal or external. You can unmount data, blah, 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 all that awesome stuff there. Uh, click back again. I would jump into settings here and all kinds of neat little settings in here as well. And uh, if we were to click on advanced, now you have a copy log to SD card, fixed permissions. You also have a file manager and a terminal command. So if you needed to get anything done, ADB pushes, things like that, uh, you have the option right there, uh, right there, jump right into terminal command. And of course, as you can see here, we have our file manager and we can do whatever we need to do in here. Uh, really, really great recovery um, program. I love it. I have it on my uh, Motorola Atrix 4G and I've been waiting for this to come out for the Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. Uh, really fantastic. So again, the first part of this video, that method used can be used on any device, whether it e e is even the uh, Galaxy S3 or Motorola Atrix or your HTC devices, whatever it may be, that same method, go download Goo Manager, um, click menu and hit install open recovery script or whatever the hell it was. And uh, that'll do the trick for you. If it's available for your device, it'll download it. If it's not available for your device, it'll say no recoveries are available for your device or have been found. Um, so just give it some time. You could also even just email the devs and uh, maybe chat with them about um, uh, adding your device to their list. Uh, quite a big list. It takes them a bit of time, guys. I mean, this is quite a bit of a, a project. Um, a lot of development goes into recoveries, so um, give them some time. Um, if it hasn't, uh, if you're watching this video and it hasn't made it to uh, Goo Manager yet for your i9300. Anyways, guys, like I said, all the links will be in the description below. Uh, I hope you liked the video. This is an awesome, awesome recovery uh, program. I definitely recommend it for everybody because this, in my opinion, makes things a whole hell of a lot easier. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give me some love by hitting that likes button down below. And uh, if you haven't already, you might want to consider subscribing for more videos like this one in the future. We also have videos five days a week on all kinds of other things than just recoveries, uh, app reviews, device reviews, unboxings, mods, hacks, ROMs, the whole nine yards, folks. Uh, anyways, again, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.